What is going on, Jerome's? Super fired up. It's mock draft season. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And not only do we do our own mock drafts, we, we critique the mock drafts of others because that's how we roll, man. Happy Friday. Uh, Chad Reuter uh, has been an AFL.com writer for years, and every single season he does up a uh, behemoth. Like He builds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven round mock draft. And for the Vikings, it gets interesting. Like it gets super interesting. Let's get nuts. So let's dive on in. So first off, there's only two picks that we need to go through. Hmm, kind of crazy. Uh, so uh, the uh, Panthers up a one. Stroud, Bryce Young, Texans two. Anthony Richardson, uh, Yankee swap. Uh, the Colts move it up to three, so that they make sure that they don't get blocked. They go get Anthony Richardson. Cardinals four. Uh, Will Anderson, Mister Anderson, uh, Gonzo uh, going to the Seahawks. Ooh, Gonzo and Woolen and Kobe, Kobe. Love it, man. Uh, Jalen Carter uh, goes to the Lions. Uh, I don't think that he's actually going to fall too far. Uh, I, I know that there's rumors of teams taking him off the board. All it takes is one. And Jalen Carter will be a problem in the middle of the Lions defense for a number of years. Uh, Tyree Wilson, uh, the lengthy edge rusher from Texas Tech, going to the Raiders. I love – ooh. All right, so Tyree Wilson and Max Crosby. Let's go. Let's go, man. Uh, now, it's interesting that they pass on Will Levis at seven. Uh, the Falcons also pass on Will Levis going Lucas Van Ness, uh, a major monster in their front uh, in their front seven. Uh, then the Bears, ooh, let's get spicy. Bajan Robinson, who, I mean, Bajan Robinson is sort of like, uh, like a larger Barry Sanders, not going to lie. Like, his, his missed tackles are insane, but... I mean, the Bears, if they want to be a running team, Justin Fields and Majon Robinson, that is a hell of a dynamic duo uh, at, at the flex point, at the mesh point, at uh, everything. Run a read option of those two. Let's go. Ten. All right, so here's where we get nuts. Let's go. Let's go. So, ten, the Vikings. Will Levis uh, trickle, matriculated down to number ten. Uh, project, projected trade with the Philadelphia Eagles. This is what Chad wrote. Kirk Cousins is entering a contract year, and the Vikings expect to be good enough to keep them out of the running for the top quarterback prospects in the 2024 draft. Uh, Minnesota might choose to shoot its shot now, getting Levis in a trade with Philadelphia in exchange for a third-round pick this year and a 2024 first-rounder. Levis may still have a fan among the team uh, at the top of the draft because his arm strength, mobility, and competitive fire, but he reminds me a former NFL passer Jay Cutler who went 11 in 2006 and in some recent drafts we've seen at least one highly regarded quarterback come off the board in the 10 to 12 range uh, Fields, Rosen, Mahomes and Deshaun Watson uh, so I mean if the Vikings can get up to 10 and it only costs them this year's third number 87 and next year's first which is going to be late I would be okay with it I I'd be okay uh, again if the Vikings and Quasey and Kevin O'Connell deem that Will Levis is the guy let's go let, let's go, man. All right, so the Vikings don't have a third anymore, so all they have is a fourth. So uh, the rest of the way, Skaronsky to the Titans, Addison to the Texans, Paris Johnson to the, the Packers, Yeah, probably because uh, they have no idea what Bakhtar is going to be a long term, and then Jenkins kicking inside where he should be. Uh, Porter, Myers, Osiris Torrance, ooh, moving up draft boards. Kind of love it. Nolan Smith going to the Steelers. Oh, him and TJ. Ugh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Witherspoon. So Lions – so Lions get Jalen Carter and Devin Witherspoon in the same draft. That's ridiculous. Uh, Broderick Jones going to the Bucks. Uh, Kalaja Kansi going to the Bills. Uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba going to the Chargers. Uh, Chiefs getting Jalen Hyatt. And then the Eagles picking up uh, Ed, Ed Warre coming in from Northwestern. I actually really love that pick. Deontay Banks, thanks, going to the Jaguars. Him and Tyson Campbell. That's a lot of fun, man. Trenton Simpson, heat-seeking missile uh, to go with the Giants defense. Kincaid going to the Cowboys, replacing um, Schultz. No nothing. Uh, Cody Mouch. Uh, I think this is the highest I've seen him. Uh, generally don't see him in the first round, but he goes to Seattle. Uh, Darnell Wright going to the Bengals. Miles Murphy. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, the Marcus Davenport replacement. Brian Branch falling to Philly. All right, so the Eagles get Brian Branch, and they get uh, Ed Warwick. Come on. Come on, man. It's ridiculous. But... Yeah, kind of love for them. Uh, and then Camp Smith uh, goes to Baltimore. Round two. Again, round two doesn't really matter for the Vikings since they gave up uh, the second rounder. But what's interesting, Quentin Johnson falls out of the first round. Uh, he goes to Arizona uh, at the top of the second. Also, some other guys that fall through. Will McDonald, Hendon Hooker goes at the top of the second to the Raiders, who, uh, remember, passed on Will Levis uh, at seven, uh, went a different direction. Keon White, Foskey. Oh, you can mama the flowers. Tajay Spears. Uh, so Alvin Kamara is going to miss some time, so why not replace him with the Al Alvin Kamara replacement? Brian Bruzzi go. Ooh, so the Jets 
I love this one. So they get Brazil as well as JMS back to back. It's building in the trenches. I really love uh, that combination. Musgrave, uh, Noah Sewell. I I don't know if Noah Sewell goes this high, uh, but him going to Detroit, uh, linking up with his brother. I mean that that's a lot of fun. Mims goes to Seattle. Uh, Charbonnet. I I like this matching up a lot where he stays in LA and depending on what happens with Austin Eckler, I think that Zach Charbonnet could be a, a legit dude. Ma- Mazi uh, goes to Jacksonville. Uh, Drew Sanders goes to Buffalo, effectively replacing Tremaine Edmonds, which he's actually comp to quite a bit, like physically. Jack Campbell falls to the bottom of the second. He goes to Philly. I mean, how does Philly just keep getting all the good defenders? Jameer Gibbs, <laughs> Jameer Gibbs on the Chiefs. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, man. Emmanuel Forbes going to the Bears. That's going to be a problem for a while. And Bears uh, also picking up Bijah Ujulari. Uh, I, I like that pickup a lot. Uh, oh, man, it's Avila falls to the top of the third. Benton goes to Denver as well as DJ Turner. I love that Big Ten represent. Julius Brents uh, goes to, to the Rams at 6-9. Nice. Uh, Sean Booty falls but stays in state. Wow. Byron Young for Byron Young. Jordan Battle goes to the Packers. I love that fit. Well, I actually hate it, but you know what I mean. Um, let's see here. Aiden O'Connell. Ooh, third-round pick, Aiden O'Connell. They're going to try it with a Boilermaker because they tried it with David Blau for a while, uh, but Aiden O'Connell goes in the third round. I think that's the highest I've seen him go in, in a lot of these mocks. Josh Downs, who I think Josh Downs may flirt with like the top 40, but he falls to the Ravens, but that's a great pickup for them. Jaden Reed goes to Giants. Dan Henley. Uh, falls to Dallas. Uh, Henry Tutu goes to the Seahawks. Man, this is really good. Uh, wait, who who'd the Eagles get? Are the Eagles trade our pick again? No, they picked up Anthony Bradford. Good. I like that. Wanya Morris. Uh, City Sal. Ooh, City Sal getting some love going to the third round. Uh, Kyle Blue Kelly. Uh, let's see here. Dan Scott. All right, into the fourth. Hey, the Vikings actually have a pick in the fourth round. Uh, Carl Brooks. Ah. It's annoying. It goes to the Bears at the top of the fourth. Zach Pickens, some size for Arizona. I'm really loving Arizona's draft. Really loving it, man. Uh, also, again, all these picks from the Colts. It's kind of cool, man. Uh, let's see. Tank Dell goes to the Falcons. That's a good fit. Uh, Colby Wooden. Tanner McKee. Oh, interesting. So even though they got Jordan Love picking up Tanner McKee in the fourth round, just in case. Just in case. And then the Vikings pick Riley Moss because – yeah, we were the last team to draft the white cornerback in Dustin Fox way back in the day. And now Riley Moss is, is an absolute physical freak. I think he could get it done as a either a corner or as a do-it-all defensive back. Uh, so those are the two Vikings picks. I mean, they traded up for Will Levis, and they picked Riley Moss uh, coming in. I mean, uh, a Moss worked last time for the Vikings, so so why not? Also addresses position of need, but, you know. Uh, Chase Brown... Rest away. Eric Gray. Eric Gray, I think, is super underrated. Runs with violence. I mean, could be this year's uh, Isaiah Pacheco, just given his style. Uh, so uh, that's it. I mean, the Vikings take two two guys. Uh, Riley Moss in the fourth round, uh, and then they trade up from twenty three. They give up uh, the third rounder as well as next year's twenty twenty four first round pick to go get Will Levis. Go get your guy. And I, I understand. That there's risk uh, in, in Will Levis. Uh, you, you worry about the accuracy. You worry about the downgrade in 2022 versus 2021. But Quasi McConnell determined that he's the guy. He's the guy. Go get him. And uh, he can sit behind Kirk for a year, learn the offense, break down and rebuild mechanics. Lo- I actually really love his attitude. I think he's got a big time arm. I think that the ceiling is the roof uh, with Will Levis. So go get him. Play it out with Kirk this year and then unleash the fury in 2024. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Four round NFL.com mock draft. The Vikings trade up and go get their guy, Will Levis. Uh, let us know your thoughts on our thoughts and their thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.